JBN keep you informed. i Michelle Jones and in the news, mother seeks public's help to find the bodies of her murdered children. Please remember to subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. I that father bad man, I that a whole lay a league and things we bury them head and tail or two of them head and head, you know. Curl a, curl a soldier curl and done man, you see piece of chick like a work, you know. Khaki color hunger, one really khaki color hunger work, you know. Yes man, that's a 50 man. You see it. Chop them chop them for my dog and go around my dog, you see it. So look how many I just up here go up there in the yard, because we don't get any key and don't know where they live, you see me. Because food here in the yard, they don't tell me the information here before. Everything there they are, so we are bury them and all in after night, just up here, we get the money up in the yard. And then after now, in the night, night, I'm going to take this out, you see me. The mother of the siblings, who was seen in a viral video on social media, being buried in a shallow grave, have confirmed that they are her children. According to the police, 20-year-old Karik Moody and 22-year-old Kenisha Moody, a brother and sister of Grangel District, West Moreland, had been missing since Friday, December 8. Their mother, Stephanie, said in an interview on Sunday afternoon that she saw the viral video, and having used physical markings, she can confirm that those are her children. Yesterday, at the after two, somebody sent me a picture of them sit on social media where they might bury them. I miss to see them, the distraught mother said. The mother said her children called her on Friday, telling her to pick up $10,000 at a cook shop and that they're going to pick up a package. She is speaking with the public to assist her in locating where they are buried so she can get their bodies. The viral video on social media shows the bodies of a female and male in a grave with what appears to be blood stains on their clothes and a man using a shovel to throw dirt on them. Reports from the police are that about 7.15 a.m., Carrick and Kenisha were last seen living in a cook shop in Grinjil in the parish. Their mode of dress at the time they went missing is unknown and they have not been seen since. JBN will keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.